Good morning, everyone. It is September 20th. I'm driving up the coast in beautiful Malibu. I've got my buddy David on the phone. We always have a little chat every morning to get our day started. He's in Boston, and uh, he's been he's an ambassador. What number ambassador are you, David? Number four or five. He's number four or five ambassador. And uh, so, as I always say, you got to look at the bright side of everything. And as, if you followed the video yesterday, I had some great interviews that the camera didn't record. So I'm on a new camera, a new phone called Rocket from Rocket Mobile. And this is my first re uh, real recording with it. And uh, so the good news out of all, everything, I lost some great interviews, but I went to the T-Mobile and ordered a new phone, which I think is gonna be the nine, the Note 9 instead of the Note 8 as a replacement and cost me five bucks. So in theory, everything's working out better. So you gotta look at the positive of everything. Right, David? Absolutely. You gotta it's look at the positive. About everything. everything. Positive thinking manifests positive action. And you know, if it happens, it was meant to happen. You know, you gotta look at everything as it's meant to happen. You can't really change things. I mean, you can plan things and then hopefully they work out, but never look at the negative. Always look at the positive, because there is no such thing as negative. You know, David, they say the glass is half full or half empty, right? Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm changing it up. I'm saying the glass is full or the glass is empty. Because <laughs> uh, I don't think you should be half negative. I think you should be totally positive, which means that the glass is totally full. And if you're a negative person, the glass is totally empty. Then you go thirsty. And you go thirsty, exactly. Well, everybody, stay tuned for a day. Uh, this is a different angle as well. I mean, this camera is completely different than the Samsung. Um, I don't know if I can zoom in or not, but I'll play with it today. And uh, everyone have a fantastic day. Stay tuned. Let's see if Dr. Fantastic can get in any trouble. Today, I'm going to be a carpenter on Pirate. i got to remodel uh, uh, the galley um, cabinet. And i got the tools in the trunk. And... Uh, Let's see if my carpentry skills are up to par, because you don't want to screw up on, on a beautiful piece of wood that I'll be working on. That's for darn sure. Everybody stay tuned and have a fantastic day. Okay, I'm back at the house with a quick update. Uh, in sales, the takeaway is the best tool. So let me tell you, tell you why I brought that up. Zoom, who I'm driving for, uh, it paid me 60 bucks to do the Malibu run the other day. And I agreed to do it um, every morning. Great way to start the day, drive up the coast. And then today they sent me, well, to do it again for tomorrow. And they said 30 bucks when they paid me 60 bucks. And I said, well, no, thank you. I liked it at 60. I'll pass at 30. And they called me up and they said, okay, we'll pay you 60. <laughs> so the takeaway is you have to have enough nerve to do it, you know, because 30 bucks is still worth it. You know, it's an hour um, and or less than an hour. And, uh, but 60 bucks is better. So I did the takeaway. Uh, I have another one this afternoon for 60, but I got a call to be Santa Claus or an audition for Santa Claus for Knott's Berry Farm. So that's my afternoon. So I blew off a Zoom anyway. Uh, I went to the boat and uh, I was at Mr. Carpenter. Uh, the, the phone wasn't behaving. You know, my other phone broke, as you know, and this one's not behaving. And uh, now it's behaving. Uh, I was going to film what I did on the boat. I, so I did a pretty good job, actually. I was surprised myself. I haven't done carpentry in a long time. But, you know, in carpentry or whatever you're doing, plumbing, it's all about having the right tools. And uh, I had the right tools. I did the job. It went pretty pretty smoothly. And I accomplished putting in a new cabinet. And it was very important because they have a big photo shoot on the boat on Friday. So they needed that repaired. Um, and luckily on my schedule, I was able to do it. So I'll give you, um, I'll, I'll tune back in when I've got the Santa outfit on. And uh, by the way, it's not the 20th, it's September 19th. Uh, I guess I lost a day there. You know, it's tough when you're retired just to keep track of all those, those days. But at any rate, hope you're having a fantastic day. I hope you're having a fantastic time watching. I hope you are fantastic and we'll talk to you in a bit. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm on Wilshire Boulevard and it is September. But Santa is in full force. Here we go. Oh, Merry Christmas. Have you been a good little boy or girl? 
Anyway, so it's audition time for Dr. Fantastic and Santa. Let's see what happens. I'm at the L house, killing some time while they fix my phone. And this young lady I interviewed a few months ago, and she was fantastic. And she forgot about being fantastic. So I'm here to remind her of how important it is to keep being fantastic. What happened when you first started doing it? Huh? Feeling fantastic. What happened? I said it was working and I was feeling fantastic. Yeah. And then somehow or other you fell back into your old habit. I did. I did, but you came back to save me, so. <laughs> you know, we're right creatures now. of habit, right? Right. And uh, it's just maybe sometimes easier just to be good, right? Right. Well, I just got home, and I tell you, there's no better feeling when you come home and when you see this thing pulled in, I mean, <laughs> this, um, there's been a big boat in the marina, uh, and there's been a lot of big boats, and Double Down has in the, been in the marina for about a couple weeks now, and it's a very, very big, large yacht. This thing makes it look like a dinghy. I'm gonna turn the camera around, and oh my gosh, it's, I just love coming home to see the big yachts in the marina. It's, it's like, a, um, like a puppy, it makes you feel good. Yeah, well, I'm gonna walk along and take a view of this thing. This thing is it's bigger than my last yacht. Uh, I don't have my uh, stabilizer, so I apologize for the video, but I'll try to make it stable. Got a cocktail in one hand and the camera in the other, but I just, this is like, I was on the Atessa, which is a 300 foot yacht, which is, well, this one's got more girth. I mean, it's hot. This thing's unbelievable. This, I mean, the Atessa is probably about just as long, but this thing has got some height to it. My God. I love it. This is amazing. So this is the one that's been in the marina, and that's huge. You know, that's 140 foot. This thing here is 300. Easy. Uh, but there's no helicopter pad, so... A Tessa was a $300 million boat that I was on. That was much better. This is amazing. This, this, this is a monumental. This is the big, one of the bigger boats that's been in the marina. And uh, people say it's, it's terrible that people spend this kind of money on a boat. But you got to remember how many people it put to work, how many people it employs, and how much fun it is to be on it. <laughs> it is, I don't see any names either. It's amazing, it doesn't have a name. That is some boat, and that's the other big one. And there's a big one. And these are all little bitty boats compared to uh, this monstrosity. This is unbelievable. Anyway, hope you're enjoying it. I certainly am.